that it is vital for Optus to be transparent and timely in the updates that it is giving to its customers about the nature of the fault, its impacts and its possible rectification. So what we do know is that this is a deep fault. It has uh, occurred uh, deep within the network. It has wide ramifications across mobile, fixed and broadband services for Optus customers. It also means uh, that for those customers, they are being impacted by the inability to make calls or use their services. Secondly, we now understand, and this has been confirmed, that calls to triple zero, the emergency service, cannot be made from Optus landline services. My understanding is that this is a fault um, deep in the core. Um, the core network uh, basically encompasses everything um, from routing to electronics. So it is a fault that is quite fundamental to the network. But my understanding, having just recently spoken again to the CEO, is that a number of problems have been identified uh, and that Optus continues to work on this. Optus has not given a precise time frame. They have assured they're working as quickly as possible. But again, I reiterate that it's important for Optus to keep customers updated uh, and in a timely way, because this is precisely the questions that customers are asking. This started uh, in the early hours um, of this morning. We're now at 11 o'clock. And for a lot of people who are trying to get on with their day and their businesses, um, this is absolutely vital that they get back to um, normality.